that to my throat. <laughs> you okay there, buddy? You, you, we can, on the last podcast, I almost like threw up. <laughs> I didn't almost throw up, but like just the skittles because it was one big blob. It went down my throat and then I started to laugh and I just went, came back up. Oh! And I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Face comic podcast. That's, 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 that's my. That's my. As name. unnamed. That is. That's my line. I mean, it's mine now. <laughs> well, you, you, you suck, good sir. Really? This is. Uh, I'm usurping you. <laughs> is it usurp or usurp? Oh, I thought it was usurp. Usurp. I'm usurping you. <laughs> I mean, anyway, what we actually meant to be talking about instead of how to pronounce words is actually comic books. Hmm. So hmm. welcome to this comic cast. Which we have. Don't try and take it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I reclaim my throne. What comic Gas, where we talk about comic books and all kinds of things. With the name, it's a placeholder name. Hmm. This hmm. might, I don't know, this is, this, actually this might be a, screw it, it's going to be the name. Comic Cast. It, it's probably already a thing, but right. we'll find out. Comic Cast. Interchangeable name it, every no, week. N- comic Cast, subtitle, this name is probably already taken. Yeah, yeah that'll, <laughs> that'll, the, do. that'll do. <laughs> that is the name of the podcast. Okay, so welcome. We're just going to talk about a few comments that we've read this mm-hmm. week. Matt and Lawrence here to take you three, three, th- take you through for the next half hour, shall we say? So Sorry, let's I'm get started. Take. What have you been reading? So, um, I mean, I have to look at that. Well, I know we've been both been reading New Warriors, yeah, which we were, we were super hyped. I, it, I was hyped for it. Um, I will say it wasn't quite as good as I was hoping, mm. but. Standard it, first issue. Yeah, it was a standard kind of first issue for a, um, what do you call it, for a team book. Yeah, like, um, these are your characters. These the, are the... the same guy that wrote Scarlet Spider. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, which um, is what's his name? Chris Yost. Oh, good, I love Yost. It's Yost, by the Yost, way. And yes, good. Because yeah. I like that writing in that series. It's a bit of a disappointing thing, though, is that most of uh, Kane and Araceli was in, like, the end of the last issue of Scarlet Spider. Yeah, that's the only thing that's kind of disappointing. Yeah, it's like give us some but, new um, things. Give me, give me some new lines. Give me do like the way that they acknowledge that um, uh, the new warriors are synonymous with Stamford, Connecticut. Oh, I like that. Well. Yes, that like, was a yeah. really nice callback. Yeah, um, very cool. Because if you haven't read Civil War, oh my god, hmm. get on that. Yeah, get on that. Um, it's also good to see. I didn't know uh, Speedball was back to being Speedball. I thought it was still. All emo and penance. No, no, he was. He's been speedball. He was in New War. Not New Warriors. Nova. No, oh, yeah. The, the, yeah. Um, what they call Kid Nova in what they refer to him as Kid Nova. Yeah. Uh, but it's just Nova. Yeah, he's yeah. been in that for the past five issues, trying to get Sam to come along and say, "Hey, we're doing a thing. You want to join?" And Sam's like, "Well, no." Nah. And <laughs> Speed kind of has a weird crush on Sam's mom. It's kind of hilarious. Uh, it's like any time he's like he starts talking, he's like, "Dude, that's my mom." <laughs> so, yeah. Um, yeah, they pretty much introduced most of the characters except for that guy. Um, the guy like on the left, second know. down. We'll, You'll we'll put the com- cover up and circle that guy or something. Yeah, so because we know some girl, she's was introduced in, in S- Superior Spider-Man, Spider-Man team, team up. That's Justice. Yeah, and uh, Speed. Speedball. Speedball. They were both part of the old New Warriors team. Yeah. Uh, Namora was as well, I believe. Oh, was she? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if it's a different Namora though. If there are more name wars, I don't I, know. Because a lot of the new warriors died in Stamford after Nitro mm-hmm. fucking blew himself up. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure if name Aura survived. It might be a different one. I don't know. Maybe. And we also have Nova, Hummingbird, well, new new Nova or Kid Nova, mm. and I like Kid Nova. Kid Nova. You like Kid Nova? Although I'll, I wonder if they'll still give him the nickname Buckethead. Buckethead. Which was I the mean, nickname of the old Nova. They kind of call him Buckethead. Well, I've known like the guys when they do the Watcher show. Mm. They nickname. They use the nickname Buckethead. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's it looks, it's it looks, right. cool, looks cool. Standard. Yeah. Um, really spinning like off of that very quickly, we'll talk about this. Go into more depth about this on the actual podcast, the com- the Yellowface podcast. But um, if you watched the Guardians of the Galaxy trailer, the guy who yeah. played Rick Racket Ralph was a Nova. Yeah. I was like, oh my god, Novas. Yeah. Oh. The Nova Core. Yeah, which I think was pretty cool because I played remember... by John C. Riley and that one guy from Shaun of the Dead. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because I know when they met, no, mentioned that Nova's, the Nova's going to be in it, these guys mm. going to be from a Nova Corps, but they're not the actual Novas. Yeah, they're like yeah. a lower down kind of beat force. Yeah, which yeah. I thought was really cool. Yeah. 
Um, but yeah, um, main track. Yes, that looks to be set up. Standard number one. Did you? Um, I don't know. I should talk about this in the regular. Wow. Um, did you see that one little bit of Star Lord in full get up with his mask and everything? No. It's like really quick. Um, but it, it's like. Just after Rocket is on Groot's back, like firing around oh, and screaming, scene. I can't wait to there's see. There's like half a second where a guy with a long coat is walking against the wind. Yeah, and you can't. He's got like the mask on and like the. Does it look like the actual Star Wars? Mask yeah, with has. the with the red uh, eyes and stuff. It, it looks really good on. Is, it, is he just, like, just going to have the mask, or is he going to have the whole helmet and stuff as well? Uh, it, it looks like it's the whole. Helmet thing. Um, it's, it's not new Star Lord. It's classic Star Lord. Yeah. Um, what? Classic Star Lord. Yeah, yeah. Um, which I, I like the look of more than you think? what they had in the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy that came out in. Rather than the helmet and just kind of like a glass. Yeah. Yeah, very nice. I mean, mm. uh, you're. Oh, um, Amazing X Men is what, I, what I've what been reading. That? So this is the new X Men series that started. Not. Phone. Phone, why? We, we're just gonna. Don't, don't, oh are you, are you gonna pick up? Am I gonna have to? Because I don't know the number. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was an Amazon delivery call. The, the <laughs> yellow face comic cat. <laughs> so fresh. Dealing with Amazon. <laughs> Danger, excitement. Danger, excitement. All this and more. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've been reading Amazing X Men. Um, where basically it's the return of Nightcrawler because uh, he's been dead for several years now. When did he die? I don't know. Uh, it's been noted that he's been, he's been dead for a couple of years now. Mm. Uh, and he's, he, since he is weird because the X Men essentially have traveled to the afterlife. So Bamps have, Bamps have been going around the Xavier, the Jean Grey school even. Uh, and they've been collecting parts, and X Men in that with this team consists of Iceman, Wolverine, <clears throat> Storm Beast, and Fire. I don't know if it's Fire Bird or Fire Brand. It's not Fire Brand because that's a decent Fire Bird. Fire Bird. She's an older uh, character. You can tell by her the way she has her um, suit that she has been out of the pu- public public eye. Um, for a while, um, let me show you the last. That's the cover of the next issue, the chick in the yellow and red. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can tell that's dated. Yeah. And I was like, okay, she hasn't been around for a while. <laughs> um, but basically, they they've gone to re- uh, rescue Nightcrawler from the afterlife because he's already dead. He's in heaven, and half the X Men have been the Bams. The Bams create this teleporter, mm-hmm. which drag the X Men. So half of them go to heaven, half of them go to hell, uh, and the half that are in heaven are. Was was it Beast? Uh, yeah, Beast and Storm. Beast, Storm, Beast and Storm, and um, North Star is also in there. Um, oh, the guy from Alpha Flight. The, Alpha Flight? the remember the gay guy got got married in Astonishing X Men a couple of years ago now. Um, so yeah. Black yeah, and yeah. white costume. Him. Uh, he's in there. They go to hell. Met with Nightcrawler, um, and he's trying to deal with. That his father, um, oh, what is his name now? Azrael. Azrael. Yeah, he, he's a pirate. Uh, which Wait, is you have point? <laughs> Azrael's a pirate. Uh, yes. Wait, yeah. What the fuck? And he's trying. He's trying to. He's planning to take over the afterlife, the, the entirety of the afterlife. So right. he has his crew and everything. And Bobby. There's been a lot of people contesting for dominion over hell and the afterlife. Recently. I know because you got Mephisto and doing the marked one stuff. Yeah. And then you've now you've got Azrael. Would be cool thing. actually, like if they make that an arc or something. That would be kind of interesting. Yeah. Hell um, war or something. <sighs> that would be. I do like the sound of that. Mm. But Bobby is in hell with Firebrand. Uh, yeah, with Firebrand. <laughs> like the worst place Iceman yeah, could and he's possibly be. The first few issues, he's just melting, trying to say everything. He, he, but to be honest, though, there's a really badass scene where he was like, I'm not going to let anyone, any of these guys take us down. He froze hell over. Nice. I was like, That's fucking yeah. cool. Yeah. Um, but there was a point where he got knocked out, so it's just Firebrand on her own. And she burns hell over. Hmm. Which is pretty cool. She actually raises it to the ground, right. gets teleported out by Bams. And Northstar and Logan, they are in like this snowy wasteland. And Northstar's like, there's nothing in that direction. There's nothing up there. And there's nothing in the other direction. And we just, where do we go? Where do we go? Um, and 
at this point, Log- Nightcrawler's already met well with Beast and um, Aurora, and mm. they've had like a really heartfelt reunion because Aurora and him used to be lovers, and Beast and him were very good friends. Which mm. is a really cool flashback scene where you see them playing obstacle chess. <laughs> so they're in the danger room yeah. you know, with all these obstacles just to be pieces, <laughs> which is really cool. Um, and Logan, he's going through this wasteland. He's like icicles dripping off him. And he's like, I've got to keep moving. And he flashes back to him talking to get like, how are you going to die? I'm going to die in the room with ninjas, dead ninjas, sword on my back, bleeding to death. And he's like, that's no way to die, man. You need to be with someone you love, love and family. And he's like, well, I'm saying, no, that ain't me. And then Logan is like, on the edge of death, because as you know... And it gets really weird when he's with North Star. <laughs> as you know, no healing factor. Yeah. And then he's like, and then oh, he's like, he's like, hope you don't hit, die here, my friend. And Logan looks up singular tear I was like oh man <laughs> Wolverine and he's like oh Kurt I've missed you <laughs> uh, so basically they, they band back, back up together and they got their own pirate ship hmm. to go and take on Azrael which I think is the most amazing thing ever <laughs> oh my god so yeah Hilarious. pirate the X-Men and I pat they're officially pirates hmm. so that should be really cool to see where, where that goes I'll be honest but all them feels yeah. Red Hood how do you feel about that because that looked I did like yeah. it yeah it's it it's like a what do you call it after what do you call it after after uh, arc math. After break math. aftermath yeah kind of thing kind of, it's just like a uh, I wouldn't say it's a filler per se it was like it, it it feels like filler to be fair you think yeah um it's basically just an issue dedicated to um Red Hood uh, and Isabel Isabel I, I liked Isabel though, to, to be to get, she was all right um. It gives a good sense of time, though, that she's, like, gone out of the hospital and moved on almost. Yeah. Um, and then Red Hood comes in and just, like, her hey, burp. <laughs> yeah. You want to come to this island? It's going to be sick. <laughs> want to go party? We can party? And then Midas is a new villain. Well, not a new villain, but... New villain in New 52. Yeah. yeah. So. No, like, um... It's looking like he's going to be their next mission, so to speak. Yeah, because I know there was what's the name of that fat, that fat chick? He references her, uh, Susie Sue. Yeah, because I know Jason took her him her out hmm. in early the early days of the comic. Yeah, yeah. Um, back when it was really good. Oh my gosh! Yes. And the art was really good. <laughs> Let it go. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, the references that, and he thought he he they came there to take them out. Hmm. Uh, take him out. He's like, well, no, we just came no, and did it to fake him, man. I mean, yeah. <laughs> you must be the one of my favorite lines was, you must be the really um, super powerful alien chick that we better take you out quickly. And then Starfire just goes, nope, wrong on both counts. Takes out the other dude. Yeah. I was like, yeah, 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 yeah um, it's yeah. about the size video. Yeah, yeah. Say, I'd say so. <laughs> oh, and she like, oh, when they they both, she, they, who's it? Isabel's getting hit on by that total douchebag. Yeah, who they. It's really weird how they do his uh, speech bubble as well. Um, like he was kind of like a robot or something? No, there's something about... Where is it? Because yeah. they're in the club, night, Midas' nightclub. Yeah, so Just having a good it's time. different from regular, like yeah. normal. And then his is all scrawly kind of almost. And yeah. then she breaks his arm. Which I thought was hilarious. <laughs> Like, so, oh my god! <laughs> like, stuff. I just, t- I was like, I, I saw. That, I was like, dang, girl, don't take no mess. No, <laughs> she just literally straight up broke his arm. Yeah. Like, come, Isabel, let us dance. I was like, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. I mean, I won't touch that. Ah, mm. uh, so you're you're looking in deep thought, Matt. You're like, mm. I was disappointed. I was looking forward to the continuation of Zero Year this month. Oh yeah, but it wasn't. Um, it was sort of a kind of not really zero year. Uh, Batman Eternal. What's the name? Harper. Um, you're like, I can't tell you. Harper. Uh, what's her name? Um, you know, there's like, what's her name? Carrie. Yeah. Um, Carrie Kelly. Carrie Kelly <laughs> and yeah. that other Harper are the possibilities for the new Robin. Yeah. Um, basically, it's a mission of her and Batman taking out some casino um, run by Catwoman. But I don't I don't know when it's why supposed they, to be Why are they set. taking out a casino run by Catwoman? Because Catwoman's not like an anti-hero, lovable rogue kind of thing. She's legit villainess. 
Is this is this Batman? Is, Batman's when she he's younger, right? I guess I, it's really confusing. I don't know when it's supposed to take place because it... usually it has like zero year somewhere on it. Yeah, well, but... I thought the whole Batman series was about him when he was younger. Or is that just zero year? No, that's just zero year. Most of it's just been like current. Huh. Um, okay. But where is it? There's like a scene where there's someone in the Batcave, and I don't know. Who, see, like. Oh, okay. That was that cool. Crazy fucking hair. That's a look. That's great. Which is like called Bluebird or something. So I don't know if so that. that looks pretty cool. I mean. I, I need to read her, read this to get her character. Mm. To be honest, um, but her costume's pretty cool. She uses like, there's a funny line in it. Um, basically, uh, they say, oh, "You're Batman. You don't use guns." And she's like, "No, you don't like guns, right?" And, uh, and he's like, "No, I don't. She does." She like fires a laser gun. At <laughs> nice. That's that's pretty sweet. I mean, I I don't know. Batman and Robin has been really annoying for me right now. Because they're stuck on Batman and Two Face. Mm. Thankfully, next issue they're doing the Hunt for Robin. I was like, thank God. Because like I enjoyed the Batman and stuff when there were just one shots of Batman going through all the different people he's associated with and dealing with Requiem and the aftermath of Damien's death. Yeah. And then when it got to two, um, Batman and Two Face, I was like, okay. Okay, well. that'd be kind of cool for one issue. Oh, you've you got three issues. I was like. No, I do not okay. care about this thing. I don't care. No. Yeah. I, I, it, it, it's not like it's really bad. It's just that it's, I don't care. it's not. Because like, it, it, what was it? It was Batman and Red Robin, Batman and Red Hood, Batman and Catwoman, Catwoman Bat Batman Bat and Girl. Batgirl, Batman and Nightwing. Yeah. And those five issues were really good. Yeah. And then Batman and Two-Face. It's not terrible. It's just. So not as good. Yeah, as all the other I, I suppose that's. It's fine. I got time. Like I, I, I suppose, but I, I don't know. Yeah. I, did, I didn't feel the same draw. Yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> I didn't feel the same draw to it as I, I did the others. Because I mean, like, yeah, it would have been cool for one issue, but like they just dragged it out and dragged it out. I'm like this, this series was Batman and Robin, not Batman and Two Face. Unless you're gonna make Harvey Dent become the new Robin, I really don't care. Mm. Um, and thankfully, the hunt for the ro new Robin begins. Next issue, yeah. and see, so, like, who's that in the cave? They say, he says, "Cave, come in," and then like, there's someone in there. I don't. Um, it's not Alfred, definitely, but because it's a chick. Well, it looks like a chick. Yeah. Um, what's the name of the chick? The other girl? Harper. Harper. But she does have a brother who sort of has pretty feminine hair. Could be that brother. So but is maybe. that brother like? martial arts trained and all not that. Not at all. Hmm, maybe it could be Oracle. He could be the new Oracle and she could be the Robin replacement. Maybe. Did you read any of what's going on with, going on with Gothopia? Gothopia or whatever? No idea. It's an alternate universe. No, what? what it is, is what it was revealed to me when I was reading uh, Birds of Prey. The latest Birds of Prey issue is when... They Birds of Prey is still going? Yeah, man. I thought it stopped. No, I'm rocking it hard. Like... It, issue 28 now, man. Oh, wow. It's, okay. it's pretty decent. I uh, well, I'd say recommend cool. picking it up. Yeah. Um, but the way it is going down is that Crane, Fraser Crane, uh, has infected the water supply. And uh, what are we talking about? Scarecrow. Scarecrow. Okay. Uh, he's infected the water supply with some mind-altering drug, and he has set up some kind of activator thing, which alters people's brain states while mm. they're within the vicinity of Gotham City. Um, how, also how they see Gotham City and whatever. And when you get out of the range of Gotham City, it wears off. Um, so the way they found that, this out is that the Birds of Prey are now the Wings of Freedom in, in Gothopia. And uh, they all go... Ho they have a day taking down bad guys, whatever. Go to a charity circus. They're pretty much like the Graysons, which was mm -hmm. weird to me. Yeah. Uh, and then they went off... Did some super superheroing. Fight. Batman's gone crazy. He thinks he's this is all wrong and blah 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 blah. So he goes to find Poison Ivy, who is not under the spell of Crane for whatever reason. I have to read on the Batman side of things. Mm. Um, and they end up taking. Say we'll pick up Batman slack. They end up going home, and then Ra's al Ghul comes in and injects Batgirl because he. The way this is at the moment is they're working with a woman called Mother E who is like Ra's al Ghul, but he, she, she doesn't have a, a Lazarus pit. She's just pretty much immortal. Yeah. And she's an old lady in a wheelchair. 
and they're pretty much at odds, those two. And Ron Zogel says, look, what's going on is Fraser Crane, wait, wait, no, does he wake up Canary or... Yeah, he wakes up Black Canary because uh, her husband... Asleep. Oh, she birds of prey, of course. Birds of prey, because um, Kurt Lance, her husband, who she thought was dead, is now in an unstable condition cause from Basilisk, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. says, well, here, I have... I've working on what's going... He tells her what's going on with Fraser Crane and says, um, since your husband is in, in stable condition, I can give you this file. This has a small dose, a diluted dose, of la- what's going on in my Lazarus pit. You can give this to your husband, it will stabilize him, but if you do as I ask you will get a stronger dose. Stay out of my way with what's going on with Mother Eve. So she's in a bit of a bind mm. as to what's going on with that. And I think Razzle has really dirty and underhanded. Yeah. You that's slime. Fucking... Um, but thank you for waking people up so I, now I know what's going on. Um, so they might, she manages to make... She start, starts talking in the way she was when she was under the influence of the drug. Manages to get back out to Mother Eve's ship. Tells everyone what's going on. Relinquishes her control of the team... Well, leadership of the team to Batgirl. And that's where that ends, pretty much. So that's what's going on with the Gotopia. Right. But okay. in the scope of the Birds of what, the Prey stuff, I think Ra's al Ghul is being really sneaky. So it's Birds of Prey, Batgirl, and Detective Comics? De- Detective Comics. I haven't seen a... Yeah, I've seen a Batgirl issue. Because I saw, like, in the back... Uh, where is it? Just... Oh, yeah, joke. Um, there's, like, a... Thing where Batgirl's dressed in all white. Or yeah, she's called Bluebell. Interesting transition. Uh, yeah, uh, she works with um, Nightbringer, who is her name in the real world. I don't forget what Nightfall is her real name in the real world. I forgot her name in the Gothopia. It's madness. Hmm. But yeah, it's weird. I, 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 I'm kind of interested to see why, what's going on with it, but I'm not hmm. so interested as to where go out it leads. And, kind of yeah, thing. I just, just want to know why. The end game. Uh, yeah. Um, but, yeah. yeah, Joker's daughter is getting her own comic. Mm. Yeah. Did you read the villains issue of her? I don't know. I kind of I did. I, it was weird. I, I so disappointing. Like I thought, oh, who's gonna be under the mask? And I thought like it would be Harper's brother because he. I, I don't know. Various things suggested that. Well, to me, that it was gonna be him. But then I found out, oh, it's just some random chick. Hmm. Cool. It's yeah. just some girl that got abused by her parents. Yeah. And that's it. And you like, and found Joker's face. I mean, what it happened, which just gross. It's yeah. so, so gross. Hmm. And why would we wear another man's face? That's disgusting. So disgusting. So gross. So gross. But yeah. It doesn't feel like she's deserving of her own comic. No. No, not at all. But I mean... Yeah. Some number interesting number ones have been coming up in the Marvel side as well. Mm. Um, she Hulk's getting one. Yeah, uh, like you said, I know you said um, Ghost Rider's getting one. Have we'll... you seen what he is now? Who? Ghost Rider. No. Is that weird? One sec. Um, keep talking. I know that Wolverine has a new number one now, where he 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 shot someone. Yeah. Wolverine straight up shot someone, which I thought was okay. Re- re- <laughs> like, okay, so they he's going through this whole thing where he's dealing with having no healing factor he goes to talk to storm says like what are you doing with your life i'm going to change the way i'm living blah 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 then she he goes to a firing range with black widow she Mm. teaches him how to fire a gun and he's on this mission i thought he knew how to fire a gun i don't know he's on this firing range with this team which i have no idea who they are um and then they're infiltrating this building and that these guys are having this business meeting and they're talking business, blah, 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 business, business, business. And it's like, oh, you, you won't kill me, will you? Because you're Wolverine. You don't kill people. It's like, Except he does all the time. He, he doesn't kill innocent people. And okay. he just blows his head off. I'm like, what? Shoots him in that sweet spot of the brain where it immediately makes your head explode. Pretty much. I was like, well, Logan, why, why didn't you just shoot that guy? I mean, cool, yeah, but that's n- not... And his claws are weird now. Are they back to being bones? Or? No. I mean, okay, this is this is the um, page where he shoots a dude. Okay. I don't know if I'll get the oh page up to put up on the screen, but I'll put the, the issue, cover issue. What, what, why is he doing? I don't know. Also, his new costume looks really cool. But this is there's a weird thing about it. It's like, it's an armor, armor-plated one since he's lost his healing factor to yeah. compensate for it. Blah, 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 blah. And the way his claws are weird now. 
Um, they look like they're coming from the costume itself rather than him actually um, having a claw coming from his fists. Mm. Give me a second while I find this. Yeah, here, right there. Look at that. Yeah. They're coming from his wrists now? Like, yeah. Not like from yeah, his... Yeah, because they're usually like from in his knuckles. between... Yeah, the knuckles, I think. Like, I don't know if they're inbuilt into the suit, therefore he doesn't have to use his actual claws, but I don't know. Seems really odd. I'm kind of I'm kind of weirded out right now. Like, because the, the art's not bad, the, so um, it yeah. doesn't strike me as something that would be... Like a Rob Liefeld esque <laughs> retardation. <laughs> no, it but actually like, looks it, deliberate. It, yeah, it looks like it's purposefully on his wrist kind of thing. Also, yeah. that's the new Ghost Rider. Okay. He's in a car now. It's not a motorcycle anymore. Why is it, is it still Johnny Blaze? I don't. I don't think it is because it doesn't look like him. But then again, it, the it's a weird art style. Is like what he they do his face now is different. Yeah. Um. um yeah. All new Ghost Rider. Well, being all new, it might be a totally new person. True. Um, Still looks cool. I'll probably pick it up. Yeah, it looks. It reminds me either of a Hollow from Bleach, or Titan in some kind of way. Yeah, the mouth, mm-hmm. the lack of lips. Yeah, it's like. <sighs> well, I think we got to talk about our favorite comic in the world. Because mm. it's it, it, it. so rather than actually. <laughs> Bravo, good sir. Bravo. All your skills are now either on the table. Why didn't it work? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe because they're round and they can roll everywhere. Uh, you idiot. Jeez. Yeah, so, um, you take the lead on with this one. What are you thinking of mm. um, so far? Um, so that's like the start of Go- yeah, Goblin Nation now. Um. I mean, when I say take the lead, I mean not having food in your mouth so you can talk fluently and flowy. You just give me a shock, okay? <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, okay. Um, yeah. So, it, it's kind of disappointing. It starts like in the, later. in the middle of Goblin Nation, which is kind of odd, and never goes back. So, it's just sort of... Look to the past as we head to, to the, the future! future. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it just seemed appropriate. Such fucking nerds. <laughs> um, it just seems so appropriate. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, the the goblins men are just sort of already all over the place. Mm. Um, it is so satisfying already to see Otto just like Mike. I don't see anything. Yes, I'm like ah, you, you fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, this guy over here. I, I like the fact there's a line where he goes, all this time, I've been chasing a goblin. And he sees that, I've been chasing the wrong goblin. Osborne! I was it, like, it can't be Osborne. It'd be so, it's too easy. Um, but maybe that's that's the point. Maybe because it's too easy. They're thinking, ah, they won't think it's Osborne because, you know, too easy. Hmm. And for some reason, Peter jumps inside of Otto's body, inside of his own memories, and starts experiencing his... Uh, Otto's memories and starts to forget himself. Apparently, maybe, may, maybe, just, just a thing. Maybe they're using this as a way to make you feel something for Otto Octavius. So instead of ending the Superior Spider-Man line, they can continue it. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's pretty much just more of the same. He's still an asshole. <laughs> um, pretty much. <laughs> no. There's a funny part where he's talking to uh, Uatu Jackson. Yeah. And uh, well, he's well, like, well, well, keep thinking Stop he's Facebooking me. me, stop Skyping me. <laughs> I don't want to talk to you, dude. <laughs> and uh, he uses his Spider Man persona to intimidate him into helping him. Like right. a dickhole. Mm. I kind of like the fact that Osborne is just went, Well, you know, I brought my thugs out here. Well, there's, there's a point where I need to explain it, set this up. Mm. There's a point where. Um, Otto figures that he has to go on that the goblins are underground goes underground found the goblins hide out and the green goblins there just like so hi let's have a talk this is, shut phone phone this is this is to let us know to shut up now but we're going to keep <laughs> talking about this um, the man wants to <laughs> shut us up but screw him we're going to keep going anyway 
Um, but yeah, he says, oh, hey, this is a thing I'm doing. These are all the bad guys that I'm going to kick your butt with. Hmm. But they can go away now. Yeah. <laughs> Let's have a chat. Otto. I was like, he was like, like <gasps> mein Gott. <laughs> Gott in Himmel. Uh, I was like, yes, Otto. Thank you. Thank you, Green Goblin. You know. Yeah. Now mess him up real bad. Name's yeah. funny. More like your final seconds. Yeah, and to, oh, it was a hologram, and then Goblin's sort of like, yeah, okay. <laughs> Destroy Spider Island now. <laughs> I, I love that. It's like, oh yeah, it was a hologram. I kind of figured you'd do that. So, I got, uh, guys, if you could uh, stop looking at Spider Island now, that would be great. Um, to quote Star Trek, fire everything. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> fire at will! <laughs> I've got the, the sound of image in my head. This is a message to all goblins in the vicinity of Sp Spider Island. Fire everything. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, guys, we can uh, fire everything. Man, I was just about to clock out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, and Goblin, Goblin Knight is like, I've got to be at my daughter's ballet recital any second. <laughs> but yes. It's all coming down mm. around his ears. Oh, yeah. Yes. Otto, you have deserved this for so long. So good. So good. But still. Yeah. So that was two weeks of comics? That, that, yes, that, ladies and gentlemen. That was two weeks of comics in about a half hour. I mean, we're not going to talk about it anymore because time's up. Like, because buzzer went I mean, you heard it. I mean, we can't talk anymore. We're, we're not going to cut it out. We're going to keep it in there. We, of course. You, I mean, you just got to listen to it and bear it. I mean, we'll be back <laughs> in another two weeks to talk about stuff and things and other piece, pieces of pie and yeah. cake say the subscribe thing Lawrence like comment subscribe socials Facebook Twitters d d WordPress Tumblr's do you have a mind space my, my, uh, my, mind spa my, my space mind space have a mind do you have a mind <laughs> mind palace yeah yes. a mind palace we all have mind palaces now go oh, go God, there I don't really want to talk about show stop <laughs> go to all do all those things before Matt stops talking about Sherlock, we will see you next week. It's just so fucking week. cool when he just turns oh, well, around and shoots him right in the head.